Hello everyone and welcome back to Tales of Sisteria. I am Wishblade and let's go through the door towards the star. That's painting. And on that painting. Who are you? Are you a ghost? <laughs> There's something behind us, isn't there? Living armor. And it's golden. That's very impressive. Knight. Arthur. Is that you, King Arthur? I don't know. Anyway. I suppose this hellion must be the source. Lucky for you, it isn't a ghost, Nick Leo. I told you it's not like that. Save it for later. Indeed, we got things that are... Also, Nick Leo, why did you suddenly appear in my party? That it makes absolutely no sense. Also, behold, the weaknesses of neutral and earth. So that's a, that's a thing. You know what? Just because. Just the because. Would you not? Would you not hurt hurt my peeps? It's not very nice of you. Come on, you know you want to. Okay, come on. I guess I should simply do the attacking when others are clearly doing some comboing for me. That's very nice of them. Very nice indeed. Nope. Ow. Ow. Don't hurt my fists. Why would you hurt my fists so badly? That's not what I wanted to do. I didn't want to rejuvenate. I kind of wanted to do a banish blast, but then again, nah. The time clock probably wasn't really right for it. Anyway, here you go. Divine Battle Blow. That is amazing. And it happened so fast, probably because it was stunned or something, I think. Easy peasy. Hello. Stop, 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 stop. I've stopped, okay. Stop it, you big lug. Prince and Pricklebores, what's gotten into you? Neumann. Hi. I, uh, sorry. What are you doing here? What are you up to? What a fool I was. I should have realized you would be here, attack. Oh my goodness! It's pretty Lady Lila. How you been? Pose! Denied. So sad. Oh, you never were a lick of fun. Licky licky. <laughs> Is this a friend of yours? Sort of. It was a long time ago. My name's Attack. She is to please ya. What? That's a weird name. Well, aren't you rude? Don't you know that Attack is a Norman name of the highest pedigree? Means I'm fancy. Oh, yes. It looks sort of like the thing attached to Edna's umbrella. I know, right? Let's save talk of Edna's thingy for later, shall we? That one's a particularly long story. Oh, yeah. It is it? Is? Yes. But another time. Hey, Lila, what's a Norman? They're a special kind of seraphim. They aren't quite as powerful as a lord of the land, but they can still be a help to other seraphim. They are bards, the support. How? Well... They have the ability to boost another Seraph's power. They're kind of like a maid of sorts. Yeah, that. That's my Lila. You know me like the back of your lily white hand. Denied. Where are you going, Attack? Like a maid? I'm afraid I'm not so sure I get it. Lila's explanations can be pretty off the cuff. A little bit. Silly billies like you could never understand what Lila and I mean to each other. Oh, Not sure I want to understand. Oh. <laughs> well, anyways, y'all are Lila's friends and all. Maybe I can treat you to some grub. You do that. You, d you tried to scare us, and I didn't like it one bit at all. But I do like getting all the level ups and stuff. And an anomalous orb for more health. Now, attack. There you are. Nicholas. Sunlight Girl, Jean-Luc's the Loomer. This is a massacre! Who could have done such a thing? You? Uh, well... You wear a suit of armor. You did. You turned into a Hellion. Oh, snap! Disappointment! I remember. It was me. Indeed. I went out of my head, tore my beloved treasures apart. And now they're going forever! So sad. <laughs> well, this is not good. 
Now we're gonna come for a Norman. That's just disappointingly sad, is what that is. It's an egg. Are you okay? <laughs> Clearly not. Get up, man. You're so strong. Attack. What on earth happened that made you turn into a Hellion? I'm sure it's hard for you, but can you tell us about it? Story time. Please. Well, I've always had a real big thing for art, you know? <laughs> Moved in here a good long while back. Got to whittle my days away, just people watching and gazing at fine art. I wasn't worshipped or nothing, but I weren't lonely neither. Sounds like a good life. But then... I was happy. <laughs> Real happy. But... Okay, I guess we're gonna go talk to you somewhere else to get the rest of the goddamn story. All right then, okay, do this or... Attack! Where did you go? Where did you go, you little silly bugger? Are you down below? I believe you are. And we can go through this door now. Hello! There you are. If I could talk to you, clearly I cannot. But ever since the countries took to fighting, the humans started to get real nasty. That country's bad, they'd say. That country's art is bad. Slash it. Burn it. Idiots. So they used art just as fuel for the fires of war. Again, idiots. It's true. And that ain't the half of it. <laughs> That's when they started to move the art on the black market. Savages! Oh, so that's where it all went. They were laughing and clutching their money in their, their grubby little hands. Hooray for war! Hooray for profits! Disgusting, I tells ya! I got so mad, so dejected, I felt my anger bubbling up, but I was beyond caring. And then... You turned into a Hellion! That's when I became a Hellion. That's what I said. I was just faster than you. It's not your fault, Attack. It's the dumb humans. Thanks, son. I appreciate it and all, but I'd like to be alone for a little while. Okay. Just don't turn into a Hellion again. I guess we're gonna be on our way now that we did something about the malevolence. So, um, all right. Let's just get out of the museum for now. Oh, <laughs> so sad. Attack, you need hugs. I will, I will give you hugs one day. <sighs> but for now... Never thought that the source of all that malevolence would be the love of art. It can be anything. Yeah, that was unexpected. It's the Kingdom of Highland that caused Attack such pain. If only I had been able to do something. Malevolence can come from anyone's spirit. Especially when that spirit holds hate for other people. Like you? And for us Seraphim, the influence we receive from the vessel in particular can be a danger. So if I started generating malevolence, it'd put everyone in danger? All of us could become Hellions. Not good. <sighs> so be good, Sore. Saray, Alicia, the people in their despair cling to those with power that surpasses theirs far more tightly than you may imagine. Do not undervalue your ideals nor the things that are in your power to accomplish. A shepherd's emotions towards the people he rescues are also his greatest enemy in a way. Okay, understood. Didn't she just tell you not to be so stiff and serious? Maybe. Oh. I guess you're right. Oh, you silly goof. <laughs> but I suppose I don't need to worry about you. Eh, not really. We'll get started so you don't have to. Just doing what's within our power, right? Indeed, because that's all you can do, really. Hey, Edna. Oh, look, is that Drake. Are we going to fight the Drake now? Someone tell me. Feels like the malevolence has been lifted somewhat, don't you think? Indeed it has, but we still need to find a way to bring the Drake down. 
Saray, can you head to the base of the Great Tree? Huh? Oh yeah, sure. All right. And just because I didn't want to enter a cutscene too fast, I'm just saying. Okay, over here. Ta da! I did a thing. Edna, you have an idea. Of course you do, because you're brilliant. What do you plan to do, Edna? Wait here. Okay. For whom? <sighs> For me, silly. Oh, okay. I will always wait for you, Edna. But what are you gonna do? Now I'm curious. I don't want to sit around here. I do not have the patience. Like, apparently it took a very long time, because now it's dark. I wonder where Edna went off to. Me too. Who knows what goes on in her head? No idea. Ha <laughs> I'm back. Hello. What is wrong with you? Huh? What? Oh, I attack. Uh, attack? I'm here to help. Heard tell you folks could be using an extra jolt of power. Potentially. We just might. If I combine attack's power with my arrows, we can bring down the drake. Excellent. Edna told me that y'all are trying super duper hard to fix things up. We are. Uh-oh. If this glum bum town gets back on its feet, Folks might finally remember the place of art in a civilized society. I like it. Thank you, Edna. Thank you so much. I just thought it might work. It will, I'm sure. Oh, you're so sweet. So embarrassed. I love it. Yeah, hugs, goddammit. So, I guess it's shooting time. And here it comes. Drat, it's so dark I can barely see it. That's a good thing. You can fight without worrying about humans catching sight of you. She's so smart. Hey, good thinking. So, how exactly should we go about shooting this thing down? That I don't know. Well, darn. Tonight's supposed to be a full moon. All we need is some light. The clouds are receding. Let's look for a place where we can aim our shot with the aid of the moonlight. I like the sound of that plan. The power of the moon shall do something. Also... I'm not sure if I could do it now, or I should have done it before, before I went over to the star. Although the, ki the star was kind of in the way, unlike that star over there. Lastly, potentially we could go to the inn and we can view some skits, and if we can't view the skits, then I suppose I'll just go back there and we'll get started with a drink or something, and there's no skits here, so alright then. <sighs> I guess I just have to get used to it. Oh, you're still awake? Uh, duh. I've been here a while now. Why aren't you saying anything? It's not like you and I need to hold back on what we say. Yeah, we aren't like that, right? Of course. I'm gonna go to sleep. Sorry about all this. You mean, good night. What the hell was that all about, guys? Don't you start fighting between brothers now. I don't, I don't, no. No. I will not let this be a thing. But that was number one. I've always thought that the name Attack was a little strange, but never imagined it was also the name of a skill. So you've noticed, huh? Huh? Was I not supposed to? I'll explain it briefly. Equipment skills come from the boon of the Lord of the Land. In other words, they're a godsend. Fifty primary elements have been found through various arrangements of mana and elements. By combining those fifty elements, additional effects are born. And by infinitely fusing and combining them, Seraphim and humans are created in the same way. Interesting. Yeah, and the purest elements of all combine to make... Norman, right? Uh, no. Gemstones, used to make jewelry and stuff like that. Hey! Fifty elite humans were gathered to research each of those elements, namely... The Norman. But then the project gets thrown into crisis by a late newcomer. When are you going to get to the part about the Norman? Norman, don't appear until chapter 23. Now quit rushing me. Huh? Was I not supposed to ask that question? No! You're supposed to sit down and be quiet while Lady Edna is teaching you about the ways of the world. Definitely. Now, that is the two skits that we wanted to see, so now let's go back to the star. How is this house gonna help us? I have no idea. Whatever. I'm sure someone's got a plan. This is it. Are we gonna stand on the- okay, we are standing on the house. 
I hope no one minds inside. Let's do this, man! Badass! Attack! Lend me thine aid! And I shall fire the goddamn thing! Attack! You got it! Norman Power! Pose! It is amazing! Now let us do this! Holy hell! <laughs> Key wipes! That's some power you got there! I can only handle one shot! Then I guess we'll have to make it count. Hmm. <laughs> one shot is enough. Saray, I'll do the aiming. Right. And I'll pick when to fire. Hello! Now! Booyah! Like a javelin of water and ice! And down goes the Drake. Nice. Indeed. Now let's go kick some what? Oh dear. Crash landing. Hello there, sir. It's not over yet. This is it. Yes. Now let's do this. It is a Drake. And it is very, very dangerous. Because it resists all the elements we have with Seraphs. But not the air. And we have some air by using our martial arts. Even a mere drake is this big and this strong? You can't be serious. He should know the difference in size and scale a dragon has by now. We are here to do whatever must be done. That's right. As we are now, we can do it. Whatever. Try not to die out there. I won't. I still need to give you all the hugs in the world. Also, if you've ever played World of Warcraft, use dragon logic in this particular battle. Stay on the side because on the front, there's a breath attack. And behind, there is a tail swipe, and it is not very good. And basically, otherwise, go for the martial arts with the um, 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 the control stick held forwards. Something along the lines of True Hog, Tiger Blade, and all that good stuff. That's something you definitely want. Oh dear. Oh dear. That is definitely very helpful. As you can see, power hits are gained very, very quickly. But the dragon is also very powerful. It has a lot of health. I should get out of the way. There we go. Thank you. Don't don't kill me. Why are you resisting? Don't you resist me? Don't you do this? Even though I know Earth Dragon Fang, that's not very a very good idea to use. But if you're in the power hit combos, then it's okay. Then there's nothing to worry about whatsoever. And we are slowly whittling it down. I like it. Come everybody, we can do this. Oh, well went. Ouch. That's not very nice. Don't you roll with me. Oh, it hurts so bad. I don't want to die. Well, maybe you will now. Yeah? We did it. We beat the dragon. It was just a drake. Sure, we might not be strong enough to beat a dragon yet, but... Yeah, we will get there someday. So, Ray, maybe you should watch what you say. Do you know what, what you are saying when you're saying you're going to take down a dragon at some point? It's like you're saying you're going to take down a dragon and we don't want that. We want to purify him. Now, we got a blessing orb and wind master talisman. Nimble. And down goes that guy. Hello there, sir. You must be a seraph. The flames of purification. Might you be the shepherd? Yes. So you must be Marlins. Lord of the land. All right, then. Guardian Seraph Rohan. Hello. Oh. Or should I say, I was. Are you tired? I very nearly became a dragon. I have no right to continue protecting this town. You must atone for your sin then. Protect the town. Don't say that. Seraph Rohan. I am Alicia Difta, Princess of the Kingdom of Highland. It is we who must bear the blame. We who corrupted the hearts of the people and set you on the path to becoming a Hellion. But I assure you that I shall set things right. If you must punish anyone, let it be me. So please, if it's still possible, let us have your blessing just this once. You're an impassioned young princess. I'll give you that. You can see me? Yes. I have pledged myself as Saray's squire. Have you? Indeed she has. And you're okay? Huh? 
Yeah? Uh. Why? You seem surprised. I see. You're being weird. What the hell's going on, man? The malevolence in town has lowered significantly. Thanks to us. You're the one who dispelled it? Correct. We all did. Indeed. Hmm. Then so be it. I'll extend my blessing. Excellent. I want to help too. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you so much. You're so kind. Double the Seraph power. It appears the corruption has yet to spread to this tree. Using this as a vessel, I shall expand the Blessed Domain. You got it! Norman Power! Behold! Poses! Huh? What's this? I don't know. What happened? Not very dramatic. There's still a mega-powerful Hellion running around near here. Uh-oh. The domain it's creating is in the way, and we can't stop the invasion of the Lesser Hellions. A major Hellion? Where? To the southwest. It isn't far. We got it. Saray, we must defeat it. But if we leave the town in this state... With your guards all a-sleeping and your Hellions all a-creeping... It'll be okay, I think. Saray? Sorry, I just blinked out for a second there. Don't do that. You need a rest. In. Now. Yes, ma'am. Indeed. Good ideas will surely come after we take a breather. Onwards, everybody! Hmm. The young shepherd's starting to deteriorate. I ought to be more understanding. What? Deteriorate? Now what? What are you- what? What What was that you were saying right there? Attack now serves as, as the lord of the land. Well, that's interesting. I thought you were the lord of the land. There's- there's- there's, there's no sense whatsoever. Anyway. Lila darling, you really found yourself a peach of a shepherd. <laughs> Good on ya. Why, thank you. You two go way back, don't you? There was a time once when the Norman Seraphim and I traveled together. Lila was like an idol to us. At one point, all 49 of us begged her to make us her sublords. You didn't go for it? Um, no. Let's all just be friends, she told us. What a cruel woman. Well, 49 is a bit much. The trauma nearly killed us! We all scattered over the globe to be alone with our melancholy. What? Surely that wasn't necessary. You sadistic harpy. I don't think I'm a harpy. Ah, it's all good. Us Norman, we roll with life's punches. We all treasure it as a bittersweet memory from when we was carefree young'uns. This nostalgia trip is boring me, but it's true that Norman have useful abilities. If we find any more, let's catch him. It'd be sad if they turned into Hellions. I'd get a kick out of seeing my old buddies again. I promise we'll help you folks out. Gotta catch them all, Norman. So, now we have a side quest to find all the Norman, and with the power of the support talent Norman for the win on Etna, we will find them even more easily. But I don't need it, so it's okay. Now, let's set up some of this Lord of the Land stuff. And also, this is the thing, because now we have a Norman, we have a tax, so we can set the Norman. You can assign Norman to serve the Lord of the Land, improving your, improving your chances of finding equipment with that Norman skill attached. However, this will also raise enemy levels in the, that area based on that skill's group. On the other hand, low-level low level enemies won't give us much experience, so this is one way to increase to keep enemy levels higher. That is our thing. So, now we can add attack, and enemy level will increase by one. So that's not really that much. But, there you go. Now gear will be more likely to have the attack skill. So that is something. Also, boons. That is it. And that is basically all. So, now that we have done that, um, now we need to go to the sanctuary. Yes, I believe we want to go to the sanctuary before we go to the inn. For there should be something about you. Where is it? I don't know. Is it somewhere over there? There it is. Rhesus, how you doing? And whenever you find the Norman, you can add 
their skill to some bit of equipment. And I'm sure there's a really good point in doing that with certain things and stuff. But I don't quite know. Now, Rhesus, art defense, that's something that is primarily on the rings, so I suppose we could add it here. It's already there, so. <laughs> but where should we add the thing? I don't know. Um, there you go. Edna, you can get some more power. Sure. And now, you will assist the Lord of the Land. Norman can be found in a variety of locations. Norman have the power to enable skill effects on the at the same, for the same skill of their name. It's very difficult to talk fast, but I do it anyway. Find Norman in each area and present them with equipable items that have open skill slots so they can attach their skill to it. Use the Lord of the Land to configure your Norman. Because now it serves the Lord of the Land. Or he, or she, or something. I don't know the genders of these things. I have no idea. I just, I just don't know. Maybe they're all male. Maybe some are female. I do not know. Now, we do have this. We can add a new one, so might as well. Art defense. Alrighty then. And with that out of the way, um, I believe there's actually one more somewhere. Hello. That is a very good question. Where is the other one? I cannot remember, but I do recall there also being some skits. There it is, right down there. But there are also skits, so. The Normans' powers sure are interesting. Not as much as their faces, though. Yes, the Normans' ability to assist is quite helpful, and each one has different capabilities. They all look the same, though. Its abilities change from combining them in different ways, right? They have bad attitudes, even though they're Norman. Yes, there should be increasing numbers of Norman which you could combine to make new effects. Norman times Norman equals Norman Hell. You sure have it in for the Norman, Edna. Not really. Just a bone or two to pick. By which I mean 77 confrontations, 108 complaints, and 32 appeals. That's all. Sounds... complicated. That is simply the business of Lady Etna. Therefore, you must not question it. Could you tell me more about equipment skills? Way to have your head in the game. First, let's go over the basic skills. Basic skills can be broken down into 10 groups with 5 different elements. So in total, it's 10 times 5. Think you can do the math, genius? There are 50 Norman named after the basic skill they offer. Each one has the power to draw forth that specific skill. So if you find a skill that you like, go find that Norman and send them off to the Lord of the Land to do your dirty work. Elements and skill groups aren't just for tweaking the effects of your skills. They're also closely linked to bonus skills. That's all the time we have for today. See you again next week! Next week? We're doing this again? Obviously! It's called school. And in the next episode, we'll go down and talk to that Norman that's sitting over there on the bridge. So thank you very much for watching, and until next time, see ya later!